Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for joining me for another Star Wars action figure review. We're looking at another addition to the Vintage Collection. We're looking at the Incinerator Trooper, number 177. Just take a look at the back. Now I also believe there is an error or running change happening where there is a figure of the Mandalorian that is due to come out that is also numbered as 177 at the moment so whether that will change I'm not sure um, and whether this guy will change not sure either so we'll see in due time who gets the correct number allocation of 177 um, I picked this up from Target these are hitting targets here in Australia by the truckload um, and uh, I'll put up a video in a second but there was at least 20 of these so I was able to pick through and find the best looking one, you know, just in terms of uh, like paint deco and details and the card. I'm gonna rip it open anyway, but um, it was nice to be able to, nice to be able to choose like that. It doesn't happen very often, but a really nice looking card. Um, looking forward to probably picking up another one of this. So I really like the six inch version. Um, so yeah, looking forward to taking a look. So uh, let's open it up and uh, get nice and close. All right, so here is the incinerator trooper out of the box. This is one cool looking figure. He's using the same uh, basic stormtrooper mold that we've recently gotten with the Imperial Remnant stormtrooper and the Imperial stormtrooper from Rogue One. Um, comes with the same weapons as his uh, six inch counterpart. Get some light behind him, there we go. Just a really nice looking uh, three and three quarter inch version. Um, does have his uh, backpack. The sun's a few more details, like the six inch one has, has the Imperial insignia on it. And uh, it has been pointed out recently that Hasbro has done these backpacks, the canisters upside down. Um, which personally, I don't really give a crap. <laughs> um, it's not a big deal. Uh, it works for the figure, but apparently the gas tanks are meant to be up the other way around. The hose is meant to come from the top. So, but again, I don't think it's a big deal. I'm happy with them the way they are. And uh, I think most of us are probably going to have him displayed on a shelf like this. So <laughs> if you're not too fussy about those little details, it doesn't really matter at all. So in the same vein as the six inch version, uh, the flame thrower does come with a separate flame effect and uh, it fits on exactly the same sort of pegs on it's got these extra supports and uh, depending on the strength of your particular figure's hands I think it will hold up I just do want to try and balance him there we go Put him back there. You do have to sort of counterbalance, but again, they've done a great job engineering the effect. Yeah, look, I'm probably gonna have to use some blue tack or something to stick this figure down just to make sure he does stand. Um, one bummer is he doesn't come with the sort of open palm like the six inch version one, so he can really hold on to the grip there. So I will probably just run that under some warm water, get it loosened up, and then flex that around there and then cool it right down just so it does hold hold that with two hands but yeah really nice job Hasbro on that flame effect this has uh, been really effective on both scales of this figure of this character um, yeah just really well done on that front uh, the articulation's great all across the figure um, yeah it's just a really good really good figure I'm uh, I called the six inch version one of the figures of the year and uh yeah this one certainly isn't a letdown either I'm looking forward to building up the mandalorian shelf with uh hopefully a lot of figures coming next year um it sounds like we're going to get a lot of vintage collection um figures from the mandalorian next year all just in time for the Razor Crest in October or November.
So yeah, pretty thrilled with that. I'd love to get your thoughts. Please drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It will really make my day. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm pretty, pretty thrilled with this figure. It's a great rendition of the Imperial Flame Trooper. Um, yeah, just need to figure him out a little bit. Get him hand holding that with both hands. Could just rest it there and it would probably work fine. But me being the picky person that I am, I want him looking like he's holding it properly. So I can't wait to chuck him up on my Mando shelf. Alright folks, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more reviews and videos and all that fun stuff very soon. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.